All right, what's up, my brothers from another mother? We got an interesting video for you today. We're going to be talking about the difference between what PUA is and red pill awareness because there's some people out there that aren't too bright that tend to confuse the two for some reason. So I want to add some clarity. I mean, a few of you have even asked me to define a number of acronyms and uh, needs to be done at some point. So let's, so let's handle this. Uh, what is PUA? PUA stands for Pickup Artistry, which is um, what you see on YouTube when they have a guy with a hidden microphone and he approaches a girl and uses memorized lyrics that he intends to use to get a phone number or a date or whatever it is, you know, whatever the intention is. Um, there's a lot of, I guess, schools, if you will, or communities that teach guys how to approach women and how to overcome uh, the anxiety that's associated with talking to pretty girls. I mean, you know, um, guys have always had a problem with that. So I get why it exists and I get why it's successful. Um, the thing that you got to understand, though, is that there's a, there's a pretty huge difference. And I want to distinguish what the two is between PUA and Red Pill Awareness. They usually just give you the tools and resources to kind of go and get the number, if you will. But it doesn't deal with a whole lot after that. Now, from what I understand, a lot of the RSD guys are trying to change that and give men a few more tools to help understand a little bit more about the sexual marketplace. Uh, but they still tend mostly to focus on, um, you know, the whole approach thing. I know a guy personally that took one of the courses and they have a... Um, what do you call it? It's kind of like a uh, minimum number of approaches that they have to do. So they give them all the lyrics and they ask you to follow certain things. Sorry, I have to keep messing with this mic cord. It's getting in the way of my shifter. Um, and he had to do something like 50 or 100 different approaches when he went to this uh, retreat or class thing. They did it in Vegas, which is not that uncommon. I mean, I suppose Vegas is a good place to do it. And he seemed to have a pretty good experience. I mean, he didn't have any complaints about it. But the thing that people don't get or they don't want to understand is that the distinguishing factor between PUA and red pill awareness is red pill awareness, RPA, let's, let's call it, is something completely different. It's got nothing to do with memorizing lines, regurgitating them and picking somebody up. Uh, if you've read The Game by Neil Strauss, the basically the godfather of approach uh, and, you know, pick up artistry is a guy by the name of Mystery. And even, you know, this guy, after thousands, probably tens of thousands of approaches, uh, he ended up having one-itis for this girl called Katya. And he couldn't really function that well. I believe he was even suicidal is the way that Neil Strauss had described it. So pick up artistry doesn't guarantee that you're able to function well throughout society. Red Pill Awareness, on the other hand, I mean, comparing Red Pill Awareness to a pickup artist is like calling a MGTOW, it's like saying that the acronym for MGTOW stands for men grabbing their own weenies. It doesn't. It's it's absurd to say that. There's so many different factions of men that identify that way. And to be honest with you, I think guys that are red pill aware probably agree with like 95% of the stuff that MGTOWs talk about. Uh, we have minor disagreements, but there are similarities. Red pill awareness, in my eye, in my view anyway, to, to add some clarity to this, is Nothing more essentially than navigating the world uh, as it truly is. So understanding the world the way that it is, understanding women for what they are, understanding relationships for what they are, understanding the high risk factors that are involved in uh, marriage in the Western world, for example. You guys always ask me to let this thing rip. We got a green light here. Just throw it in second gear and get past these bumps. Here you go. That's all you get. Then after that, it's illegal. So that's the difference between what uh, the whole notion of pickup artistry is versus red pill awareness. I hope that adds some clarity so we're no longer confused and there aren't people out there saying that people that talk about red pill awareness are just uh, pickup artists, for example. Uh, they're not. We talk about very specific components about life, although it does focus a lot on the sexual marketplace and understanding women and the dynamics between men and women so that men can navigate that space a lot better than, you know, tripping on themselves and, you know, just getting angry at the world. I mean, there's a lot of guys that don't have great experiences um, in the sexual marketplace in that arena, for example, and they just end up uh, being resentful towards uh, the way society is. And I'd encourage you to 
look a little deeper, go a little deeper down the rabbit hole. We do broadcasts every Saturday on the Red Man Group at 10 a.m. That's another channel. I'll link it below so you can find it, but it's just the Red Man Group um, with a great panelist, and we always have a different topic. So that's a good place to go to get some more information. My channel, of course, I talk a lot about that. I always try to focus more on a guy becoming a better version of himself and adopting uh, new practices and procedures, updating his belief system, if you will, to, to respond better. Before I wrap up the video, two quick things. My private men's community is wide open now. It's just a card up on the top right of the screen. You can click that and join for 10 bucks a month. It's basically like a Netflix membership. You get access to premium videos, live Q and A's, uh, a private Facebook community. There's a forum. There's a whole bunch of great useful stuff. So um, if you're looking for connection with more guys that are of course working on themselves, that's a good place to go. And uh, channel sponsor to the Tactical Soap Company. As you guys know, it's pheromone infused soap. It is not gonna have women throwing themselves at your feet, but if you understand, you know, the notion of game and how to have conversations and deal with, uh, you know, women on the sexual marketplace and what they're all about and accepting what people are for what they are, it'll certainly help you out, give you a little bit of advantage. There's a coupon code below uh, if you use Cooper at checkout for 10% off. See you guys later, next video, peace.